Old Alabama Gardener here. I was asked by one of my viewers how I render pork fat. So this video is going to explain it. This is a piece of a Boston Butt pork roast. I have removed most of the fat from it and we will cook the roast in a crock pot for use in other ways. And the fat parts I will render into lard. I had stored it in the refrigerator in a plastic bag, so now we're going to open it up and cut it in a small piece. I'm going to cut it into pieces about one half or maybe one inch uh, in size because that will help the fat to render out of it much quicker. Now you want to do your cooking or your rendering here on low heat. If you do it at a high heat, you're probably going to burn your pork fat and it won't have a good flavor. Now here you can see we've got some of the fat beginning to cook out. We've got a little bit of a bubbling going on. So I think our heat is just about right. So we might as well be ready now for how long this is going to take. Probably going to take two or three hours. Now here you can see some of the pieces are kind of beginning to brown a little bit. We got quite a bit more liquid fat being cooked out, but we still got a ways to go yet because we want those little pieces to actually become crispy. And now I think we're down to where we want it to be. Uh, the particles in there are kind of crispy. We've cooked out a lot of the fat, so we're ready to take it into the next step. Now I'm going to strain the fat, remove the uh, little fat particles, the little crispy parts. We will save those for other purposes. We'll store the fat in the refrigerator. Now, when I was a child, this liquid fat would have been poured into a coffee can and set on the back of the stove where it pretty much stayed warm, at least it stayed in a liquid state. Of course, that was long before the days of having refrigerators. But what about the little crunchy pieces? Well, here they are, and I'm going to give it a taste. That's good. Now, I call these the, the crunchies, the pork crunchies, after we rendered the fat out of them. And uh, it's good. It's good. It's good to eat. It's okay for you. Um, I don't know whether you can hear it crunch or not, but it does crunch. So, I guess the only thing left, <laughs> you know what I'm going to say, don't you? The only thing left is to say, oh, I wish you could have a bite of this. I wish I could give you a little bite of this right here. But, can't do it. You have to make your own crunchies. Okay, take care. Hmm. One more. That's good. Really good. And it can be used to flavor anything you want to flavor. If you're cooking cabbage, put some in it. If you're cooking pinto beans, put some in it. If you're cooking cornbread, Put some in it. It's going to be good. It won't be crunchy then. It'll just give it flavor. Mmm. Good.